What comes to mind when you think about the honeybee? Perhaps you envision a jar of honey or a beeswax candle. But honeybees do much more than just make honey. One third of the United States diet depends on honeybee pollination. Pollinators play key roles in the reproductive process of plants, which allows flowers, fruits, and vegetables to flourish, blossom, and grow. The case of the vanishing bees is at the forefront of a much larger crisis. Not just bees, but all pollinating animals have been disappearing for decades. Pollinators across the board have suffered from industrialization, urbanization, disruption of habitats, introduction of invasive species. They're experiencing death by a thousand cuts. Bees and butterflies don't usually make the headlines, but scientists warn that the steady decline in bees and other pollinators could trigger a crisis bigger and more immediate than global warming. Three-fourths of all plants on the planet depend on animals for pollination. They can't reproduce sexually without this animal partnership. So if you look out the window and eliminate three-quarters of what you see, that's a reason to worry. As the supply of pollinators keeps dwindling, agriculture pushes for ever bigger harvests. Three years ago, bee numbers in the U.S. had already fallen so low that for the first time in 80 years, bees had to be imported from abroad. Within the past decade, this important natural process has been put in jeopardy. Beginning in about the fall of 2006, some beekeepers began reporting unusually large losses of hives. Some were losing between 30 and 90% of their hives within a single winter. Although some bee deaths and possibly even hive losses are common during the winter months, this kind of loss was unusually high. This strange occurrence has been dubbed with the name Colony Collapse Disorder, also referred to as CCD. The CCD phenomenon has deeply puzzled scientists. For years, researchers have been struggling to figure out the cause of this disorder. As of yet, no cause has been directly proven. Researchers have looked into virtually all aspects of the honeybee's life in search of the culprit. Bee lab scientists have been looking for a cause or causes of CCD within four broad categories. The first is pathogen and parasites, or bacteria and viruses. Scientists have particularly investigated varomites and nosuma. Environmental stressors have also been linked to CCD, which includes pesticide and chemical use. The third category is management stressors, which include intensive farming practices. This decreases nectar diversity and leads to poor nutrition for bees. Lastly, genetically modified crops, or GM crops, have also been targeted in some research. Through this research, scientists have come to an understanding that the nature of this condition is extremely complex and likely involves several combining factors, meaning that there isn't just one single cause, but a whole bunch of them. Whatever the cause, colony collapse disorder isn't just affecting the beekeepers, it is affecting all of us. How? While many of the fruits, nuts, berries, and vegetables that we enjoy rely on bees to pollinate them. Without bees, you can't enjoy produce like squash, pumpkins, almonds, or watermelon. Right now, we're still waiting on scientists to discover what the causes may be. From there, we will be able to take steps towards solving the problem. But for now, there are still a few things we can do to help prevent CCD from happening and to aid the environment in general. Buying organic cotton, organic food, and green products is a great way to start. Support your local co-ops and farmers markets. Avoid pesticide use when you garden or landscape your yard. Instead, look into getting other neem-based products that do not harm the bees. You can also build a pollinator garden and plant native grasses, bushes, 
trees or flowers that are good sources of pollen for the bees. Contact your local nurseries to find out what species of plants will thrive in your area. Something is killing our honeybees in staggering numbers. There's a name for what's happening, colony collapse disorder. We're defining colony collapse as a condition where we see the rapid loss of the adult bee population. Well, the bee, is, bee, bee. is one of the signs, the really unmistakable signs, that our food system is, is unsustainable. Bees are an indicator of environmental quality. When the bees are dying, something's wrong. We put agencies like the EPA in place to moderate the avarice of corporations. And they have not done it. Instead, they've been corrupted. We're in a war. And, and we're going to lose a percentage of our troops. Colony collapse disorder serves as a wake-up call for us humans. The bees are disappearing and we are largely to blame for this. As a whole, we can work together and begin taking steps towards more sustainable modes of living in order to create a healthier planet for all of us to thrive and live upon.